Hey, we want to give you a quick look at the construction. A lot has changed on the outside, as you can see, but on the inside, there's quite a bit that's changed as well. We want to give you a sneak peek of that. Uh, we're at our current um, restrooms, which used to be our cafe area, and we had some great volunteers that came in and helped us paint. So they're kind of the most fresh and new and completed part of the project so far. This is our new front main entrance. We're gonna have a clear main entrance with an overhang where people can pull in and drop off, rain or shine. And you can see this vestibule area right above me being completed. Then behind me now are the offices. It's gonna be the same footprint as before, but uh, we're not gonna have two or three people sharing an office. Each person will kind of have their own uh, smaller office. We're also gonna have a conference room in this area. Uh, then behind me here are the entries into our new worship center, kind of these two doors on either side. One of the nice features here as we took the roof off and put some new uh, trusses in and just uh, raised the ceiling a few feet, it just feels a lot more open in here. You can kind of see uh, even from the road that it's taller, but uh, inside it just feels like there's more volume, it feels more inviting. Uh, behind me is the new cafe area. As you know, our old cafe area got a ton of use during the week on Sunday morning. And uh, so we even expanded that space now in this project and it's gonna have uh, even more use, we believe, now in the years to come. This will be our main area for having any sort of breakfasts, any sort of funeral dinners or fellowship dinners. It'll all happen kind of in this uh, large cafe area, what used to be our fellowship hall. This is the entrance to our kids area. We have the same kids wing as before, but everything's just kind of been flipped around. So you're gonna enter through this main entrance. We're gonna have kids check in here and then you'll go into large group room and classrooms around. It'll be just kind of a one way flow, which is gonna add more security. Uh, we're also in one of the entrances to the new worship center over here. We're gonna have a nursing mom's room, which I think a lot of families will benefit from. Well, we're in our new worship center now, and you can see the entrances on either side behind me, and there's gonna be room in here for about 400 people. It's gonna more than double our capacity on Sunday morning, and that's what we're doing in this project. We wanna make room for more in our church. Uh, behind me is a stage area and the baptistry, and we just envision that there's gonna be hundreds of people being baptized, experiencing new life in Christ in the years as we go forward, as we uh, just live out this vision of a movement of disciples who make disciples. And so we believe that in the years to come, we're gonna need this kind of space, more and better space for our ones and for those yet to come in our church. This place doesn't look like much right now. It's just bare concrete walls, but uh, it's gonna be brightened up. There's gonna be fresh paint. There's gonna be carpet, uh, chairs, and uh, just bright lights in here as well. And so uh, we believe that God is gonna use this place, that this is gonna help facilitate what he wants to do in the future. Now, over the months, you learn things about a project like this. And uh, one of the things that we have learned um, for those of you who have pledged and those of you who are planning to give, I know many of you have already. We're so thankful. We've had about two thirds of our pledges come in already. Um, but for those of you who have pledged but haven't given yet, one of the things we've learned is that uh, it's more financially advantageous for the position of the church financially, just that uh, people give sooner rather than later. Uh, everybody has to give within when they're comfortable and everybody has to give when they're ready and according to God's leading. Uh, but just wanna inform you of that so you know just what's helpful to the church. And, uh, but again, sometime over the next uh, year, year and a half, um, we're anticipating those pledges coming in as this campaign ends in December of 2022. And maybe you weren't a part of that campaign. Maybe you weren't a part of our church back in November of 2019 when we did this uh, One Mission campaign. But uh, I want to invite you, if you haven't pledged, to investigate that, to explore what God would have you give towards this project. You can go to our uh, website at cedarfallstrinity.org and then go to our One Mission page and you can learn a lot more about the history of this project and the vision of this project and you can find out how to make a pledge as well. We are excited for what God has for us in the years to come. We want to be a movement of disciples who make disciples and we believe this project is going to help facilitate that kind of movement and that kind of growth. So I hope you enjoyed the quick virtual tour. Uh, we're excited for what's to come in the years ahead. Uh, and thank you for all the prayers and thank you for just being a team in this and uh, just pursuing this, persevering through this project. It can be a long season, uh, but so thankful for your faithfulness and prayers. 
And then we're gonna check out the new worship center. What's what's that noise? It sounds like there's a cat that's dying in our worship center. Brian, what are you doing? I'm practicing. Practicing for what? For the grand opening. So I can play Amazing Grace. This this doesn't sound like Amazing Grace. This sounds like you're torturing an animal. That's why I'm practicing. <laughs> I don't think you're ever, do you think you're going to be good enough in six months to play the bagpipes at our grand opening? Well, I mean, if I spend 12 hours a day, seven days a week, that's 84 hours a week. What's that across six months? A thousand hours makes you a master. I think I can do it. Okay, so this, now you know what Brian's doing for his residency.